When it comes to things that are pretty much wrapped up investigations, let's turn our attention to Trump's stupid tax returns, which it appears the left finally got their hands on and seems it's a bit of a nothing burger. Yeah, so this is one of those stories I really struggle to care about, but I'm actually starting to find interesting just because of what a nothing burger it turned out to be. For years, for years, progressives went on about Donald Trump's taxes. And to be clear, he was the first presidential candidate in recent history to not release his tax returns. And I think he probably should have in the spirit of transparency like everyone else did. But what the Democrats have done is they've used the power they have through House committees that is uh, in an unprecedented way to get his tax returns and then publish them to the public. Now, there, you could make some argument that maybe as a committee, they have a legitimate, some legitimate reasons to be reviewing them, but there's no reason they need to release them to the public. They just want to embarrass Trump or like, you know, feed their Democratic base. And so they released these tax returns from when he was president. And it's just funny because there's nothing there. I read CNN had this big list of all the big takeaways and none of them are particularly <laughs> big or, or notable. So uh, here's from CNN. Six years of Donald Trump's federal tax returns released on Friday show the former president paid very little in federal income taxes the first and last year of his presidency, claiming huge losses that helped limit his tax bill. Uh, so according to CNBC, in 2015, Trump and Melania declared negative income of $31 million, uh, and taxable income of $0. They paid $640,000 in federal tax income taxes that year. In 2016, they declared negative income of minus $32 million, and again, $0 of taxable income. They paid $750 in federal income taxes. Trump and his wife then declared a minus $12.8 million in 2017 and paid $750 in taxes. In 2018, they declared $24.4 plus million positive in income, and they paid about a million dollars in federal income taxes. The next year, they declared $4.4 million in total income. Uh, they paid $134,000 in taxes. And in 2020, they declared a negative income once again, no taxable income, they paid no tax. They actually claimed a refund of $5.47 million. So there's a couple ways to look at this, but it wasn't actually surprising to me, Hannah. I don't know about you, but this is just pretty common tax stuff. When you have losses as a real estate mogul and you have investments that depreciate, you're perfectly allowed under our tax code to write that as negative income and not pay very much taxes on your other income as a result. Yeah, I mean, listen, all of this goes a bit over my head. It blows my mind that you can have this much in losses. They're reporting millions of dollars in losses and you're not, but you're not broke and you're still flying private and you're still buying Gucci. Like I don't, I don't understand the world of wealthy people exactly, but I will say, I know it happens. I know this is common. I know the tax code is written in such a way. And listen, most people are, can't, aren't, aren't advocating for the tax code, right? Like they act like, <laughs> oh, look, all these corrupt people. And it's like, no, 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 no. We keep asking for a flat tax code. We keep asking for a simplified tax code. We keep asking for something that's more fair and across the board and like on book. Guess who blocks it? It is not your free market capitalist people. Not one bit, baby. So as long as you guys want to keep this kind of tax code in place where you got all these special breaks for people, like this is what you get. And you can't be mad at somebody for taking advantage of a corrupt tax code that you continue to promote, right? Like you have to deal with what you're dealt. This is the system we live in. I say you should pay as little on taxes as you can possibly legally get away with. I'm fine with it. And I do think the interesting thing here above and beyond just like what the numbers show is that there are all these conspiracies on the left that if you got these tax returns, they'd show something ominous, right? They'd prove he was working with Russia. They'd prove all these like, no, they didn't prove any of this. Like it's they they I hate the conspiracy theories on the right, but I hate it even more on the left because nobody ever calls them out as the conspiracy theories that they are. And they deserve every bit of mocking and ridicule that they heap on QAnon people. Yeah, for years, the, the MSNBC anchors and everybody told us that if we got Trump's tax returns, they'd show collusion with Russia. And that's why he didn't want to release them. Well, we've got them. And there's absolutely none of that. And I just don't get the outrage because, yes, Trump exploited a ton of loopholes in the tax code for real estate and investment losses to pay very little in income taxes, despite being a wealthy guy. But, like, 
who would who wouldn't do the same thing? We would all use every legal method in the tax code to pay as little tax as possible. I want as little of my money stolen and wasted as I can do without going to jail. And so does everyone else. So like the members of Congress, the Democrats who are raising hell about this, are also the same people responsible for the tax code who pass the laws and create the loopholes. They just created a bunch more last Congress. Uh, that allow this kind of thing. So maybe they should do what we've been telling them for a long time and simplify the tax code, get rid of loopholes and most deductions, and uh, then they couldn't complain like this. But I really, I just don't see what, as long as he's not done anything illegal, like which it doesn't appear that he has from this, I, I don't see what this was supposed to say. There are uh, a couple other things. It showed that Trump had foreign bank accounts, including in China, but that's just like not really surprising for an international mogul. Um, and then one thing I found funny is we heard nonstop about how the GOP's 2017 tax cuts were just huge tax cuts for the rich. And yeah, sure, a lot of rich people benefited, although so did most Americans. Um, but the, <laughs> these tax returns actually show that Trump, his taxes were raised by the GOP's tax reform because it, it got rid of the state and local tax deduction, or it reduced it rather. Uh, which basically gave you a discount on your federal taxes if you live somewhere with high taxes locally. And he, of course, is a New York City taxpayer, so he has high local taxes. So before the tax reform, he was able to use more loopholes, and then the, the reform, the GOP's reform that they call tax cuts for the rich, actually closed loopholes and hurt Trump and made him pay more in taxes. So it's even funny because not only is this whole release a nothing burger, it actually undercuts the Democrats' narrative about all this stuff absolutely amazing you'd love to see it i also just like what did you expect to find that he's like here tax me harder daddy let me write you these checks for money i don't have to pay you no not even your most fringy crazy progressive billionaires do that right like all these people in hollywood and all these like tech billionaires who run around saying like they want progressive policies they are free to write the jet the government higher checks if they want to every year and do they do that no, because they too don't actually want to fund all the crap they're talking about. They just want other people to have to fund it. And that's what it really comes down to. So I, this whole thing is just ridiculous. Um, to me, it's on the level of Obama's birth certificate. Like it is such a wild goose chase conspiracy theory. And I'm kind of happy they got their way and got it just so they can all look like the fools that they are for this ridiculous waste of time. Well, I will just say this. They've set this precedent and now the Republicans are going to go after Nancy Pelosi and publish her tax returns and... <laughs> It's like the Democrats always do this. They break a precedent. They start they start something. And then when it's used against them a few years later, they'll be crying and whining. And we'll just say, told you so. Not smart. <laughs>